This video provides a basic overview of archaeological excavation and why and how it is conducted. Excavation is an intrusive and destructive process whereby archaeological data is captured and recorded by the controlled and systematic exposure of deposits. Excavation can be expensive and time consuming, but is conducted to gain the most reliable evidence about past human activity of an archaeological site and to answer specific questions regarding change between different periods. Because it is a destructive technique, excavation without publication is considered vandalism and should only be conducted when it is necessary, such as when a site is being destroyed by development, erosion or is in the final process after non-intrusive methods of archaeological research. In order to understand the site, the excavation process is extremely meticulous in recording stratigraphy, features and finds. These are recorded by plans, section drawings, photographs, notebooks, find indexes, contents records and sample logs. The cost and resource required to excavate means that an archaeological site is rarely excavated to 100% and different strategies will need to be deployed depending on the type of environment. The options of a small test pit, trial trench and keyhole excavation are cost effective processes and an effective way to gain archaeological data quickly and are also used to gather information before a main excavation. The planum method is a horizontal technique which lowers a site in stages, recording each stage as a series of sections which is especially useful for excavating in sand because there are no vertical sections. Box trench and quadrant systems are methods designed to reveal a vertical and horizontal perspective of an archaeological site. Narrow trench excavation is a vertical approach which when applied to sites consisting of large earthworks can reveal excellent stratigraphy. The most commonly used excavation method, particularly in the UK, is the open area technique, which allows the recording of vertical stratigraphy and the horizontal layout of a site. This method is popular because it can allow the complete study of structures and displays the relationship between different archaeological features. Stratigraphy is the analysis of the order and position of geological deposits and archaeological remains, which are also referred to as layers or strata. Layers are overlain or buried by progressively younger deposits so that the oldest deposits are the deepest, whilst the youngest are nearest the surface, if undisturbed. By studying the formation, composition, sequence and deposits, stratigraphy provides the basic rules by which archaeological materials are constructed and periodic events can be put into sequence. Deposits and archaeological features are accurately recorded with a method known as a section drawing. A Harris matrix is produced to provide archaeologists with a graphical representation and visualisation of the stratigraphic correlation across an archaeological site in diagrammatic form. Each unit of stratification is represented by a number, which is then inserted into a flowchart. The numbers are laid out in order to reveal a chronology of the stratigraphic sequence and helps with interpretation and the processing of archaeological material during the post-excavation analysis. These subjects will be discussed in future videos, so please subscribe to Simple Archaeology. Thank you for watching.